Hi everyone, my name is Veronique. I'm a makeup artist at Cirque since eight years. This year, I decided to take on a creative Halloween makeup challenge, the Cirque Way. Today's character is Crystal Skull Makeup. I'll show you step by step how to achieve this look. Check out the description below to see the list of product and tools you'll need to complete the look. So the first step is obviously the foundation. You can use a liquid foundation, a cream based foundation, whatever foundation you'd like. I prefer to use a liquid foundation just because I would like to have uh, something a little bit more sheer. I like to apply it with a brush, starting in the center of the face so you can cover a little bit more the imperfection of the skin. As usually, the imperfections are found in the center of the face. We start in the center and we stretch softly until the edge of the face. Don't forget to blend down the neck and a little bit on your ears. You can swirl, you can do stripes, you can do whatever movement you like, just spread it out. Once you've applied the foundation pretty much everywhere on your face with the brush, you can use a little sponge, a wet sponge, to even out everything, just to make sure there's no lines or weird clumps of foundation. Just make it all soft. Once the foundation is done, you can go on with your highlight. I used a liquid highlight just because I wanted something a little bit more sheer, more fashion, less cakey than a cream highlight. But between you and me, you can obviously use a cream highlight if you want. Just make sure that you use at least three shades lighter than your skin tone, so it makes a contrast. You can dab along your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, uh, the bottom of your forehead, around the mouth, mm, on your chin. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And of course, with your sponge, dab, 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 just to make sure everything is nice and blended. You don't want to see any outlines between your highlight and your foundation. So once your foundation and highlights are done, you need to set your makeup. You'll need for this a powder puff and translucent powder setting powder actually. You need to apply the powder with the powder puff and fold it like a little taco and then just press everywhere. This will make the difference between a makeup that lasts for five minutes or five hours. Make sure you powder under your eyes specifically and on your forehead everywhere that creases the most. Touch up with the egg and powder puff egg, powder puff, egg, powder puff. This way you make sure there's no creases on your makeup. Once you've powdered your face generously, just use a big brush and remove the excess. The makeup will take the powder that needs and simply take off the rest. So once you've powdered your makeup, then you're ready to go on for the contouring. Yay! For the contouring, you'll need a big fluffy brush with a bit of firmness and some copper powder. Don't use something too orangey or too light. You want to have something more brownish, copperish and shiny. Why not? So you want to go on your temples, under your cheekbones, on the side of your nose, in the crease of your eye, Mm, where else? I think that's pretty much it. Well, you'll see. So while you apply, just do back and forth movement with your brush so you can blend while you apply. Oh yeah, under the jawbone. Forgot that part. 
So you apply and you blend and you apply and you blend. Just follow your bone structure so this will enhance your natural skull shape. When you get to your smaller areas like the side of the nose and the crease of the eye, use a smaller brush. Just make sure you use something very fluffy so that the bristles are not too firm, otherwise it won't really blend, you'll just make lines. We don't want lines, we want blending. So once you've done your contouring, you can come back with more pigmented copper color just a little bit under your cheekbone and on your temple. Follow also your hairline. This will just give a little bit more richness to the color. It will be less dull and flat. After contouring, guess what? Highlight! Yeah, so I'll switch with the highlight powder, something not too bright though, just really shimmery. And I'll go along my cheekbones, uh, the base of my forehead, the bridge of my nose, around the mouth, on the chin. Did you notice these are the exact same place we applied the liquid highlight before? Now we're ready to work on the eyes. Um, I kind of start with a plum color, something more matte because I want to have a little bit more depth. And you can use a round fluffy brush, yay fluffy, uh, because you want to have something blended. So start applying your color at the outer corner of the eye and then push along your eye crease. And the secret of the blending is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Once you've worked on the top of your eyes, you can switch with something, a brush that is a little bit more tight and um, thin to do under your eyes. Same thing as on top, you start at the outer corner of the eye and then you push towards the inner corner. Oh yeah, use your fluffy brush just to finish your blending. After the plum color, you can switch with a dark brown. Use a brush that is a little bit more firm so you can have something more defined. I came back with a fluffy brush just to blend. That was a mistake. Yeah, there you go. Back on track. So, you add a little bit more dark at the outer corner of the eye. Just a little bit smaller than your plum. So then you'll have, again, more deepness in your color. It's all about dimension here. So the lighter color, which was the copper, was thicker. Then you switch with the plum, like medium thick. And then you switch with the dark brown, like something a little bit smaller. And while you've done this, you can also continue along your lash line. Start defining your eyes. Yeah, I was thinking, with the plum color, wouldn't that be great to add some depth under the cheekbone and on the temples? Yeah. You can use the same brush that you applied the copper. Just go in the center of your copper and blend, 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 blend. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Seriously, the secret of blending is a lot of movement and low pressure.
Oh yeah, you can add shadow under the tip of the nose. That's really nice. Oh, and the crease of the chin. My god, so much little details. Oh yeah, one last place, at the inner corner of the eye. Yeah, I kind of forgot, but that really adds something. Sometimes when you do your contouring, you realize that your highlight really miss contrast. So this is where I realized I should use a white shimmery powder just on top of my highlight zones just to give more punch. The same thing as the contouring. Uh, the previous highlight was something wider and larger, but this white pigment will go just on smaller zones. So the same areas that you applied the highlight before, but a little bit smaller. So it's like the highlight of the highlight. Yay, now we're ready to work on the lips. So for the lips, seriously, you can use anything you'd like. I personally prefer um, liquid lipsticks, you know the one that dries, you can wear it, you don't feel it, you can drink, you can give kisses, you don't need to worry about anything. So I like to apply it with a brush, even though it comes with a little applicator, just because the brush is a little bit more precise. So use a tip to really do your outline. Oh yeah, that was tough. It's really hard to have an even lip because naturally we do not have even lips. So with the brush, it's easier to fill those little gaps and trick a little bit your lip liner. After that, yeah, just fill in. All right, now we're ready to continue our eyes. So for this, just use a liquid liner, um, nothing specific. You can use a gel liner, you can use a liquid liner, you can use like a pen liner, you can even use um, like water-based uh, face paint makeup to do your liner. Seriously, it doesn't really matter. Just use what you like. Once you've done your black liner, then you can use your dark brown powder. You know the one that you use around your eyes previously? So just use a firm brush and blend the top of your black liner. This way you'll have like a mini smoky effect. And then once you're there, why not push it into your eye crease? Not all the way, but just a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm touching up my liner because I realized it was eh, not so clean. You're able to come back if needed. So once you've done the top of your eyes, you're gonna use the same eyeliner under your eyes. Go as close as possible to your lash line. If you feel comfortable, you can even apply it in the waterline zone. Once you've done your black line, you wanna go back with your brown powder and blend it. This is very important to blend it before it dries, because once the black line is dry, forget it, you're not gonna be able to have a nice blending. Alright, now that we've done with the dark side, let's switch to the light. Yep, so we're gonna use a white eyeliner. You can use um, also a white water-based 
uh, makeup. This is what, actually what I use with a mini, mini, mini brush just to get close as possible to the inner corner. What I feel that is really nice is also to shift that white just above your black liner near the inner corner. I don't know if you follow me. Um, and before it dries, once again, you want to use your white pigment. You know the one that we've done the highlight of the highlight before? So simply dab over the inner corner of the eye before the white dries. This will give a little shimmer and it will blend also the ending of the white. It just makes more soft. Yay, the party begins! The skull shape! Alright, so for this you need water-based makeup. Um, mix it with water, of course, and use a brush that has the shape of a drop. Um, you want it more uh, round and thick at the base, going like really pointy at the ending. So simply follow your natural bone structure so, oh yeah, a trick. When you press on the brush, it will make thicker lines. But if you go just very um, gentle, it will make mini lines. This way you can have a line that goes from thick to thin. Ah, look at this, woo! Once you've done with the white lines, you can now switch with black eyeliner just to add a bit more contrast, especially under the cheekbones. Yes, contrast. All right, now we're ready for the teeth. You can use uh, the same drop shape brush type but a little bit smaller so you can have lines that goes from thick to thin in only one brush stroke. So press and release, press and release, there you go. After that you can go around the skull shape just to add um, lines just to give a bit more funkiness. Go crazy, just follow your instinct. After a while, just have a look at your makeup. Just check if you need more contrast, if you need more blending. Like here I felt that the black lines were a bit like ugh, too sharp, too harsh. So I use a little bit of black powder just to soften it out. And after a look around, you can add brown powder next to the white lines just to give more contrast. I realized I put also black lines under my jawbone just so it kind of separates the head from the neck but go crazy just have a look turn your head just see if something need to be um, more contrasted ah oh, my favorite part the crystals all right so i don't know if you ever glued crystals before but uh, a few tips here use eyelash glue uh, you can use a normal latex one, but if you want more um, durability, just use a latex-free lash glue. This way, uh, it will last a little bit longer, especially if you're going to a party or a parade. So, um, the big ones, I just use my fingers. But when you get to smaller stones, what I recommend you is use the, um, the back of a brush, like the back tip of a brush, put the glue on your face, then with a tweezer, 
grab your crystal and just glue it over the glue. This will save you so much time and so much crystals rolling on the floor. When the stones are glued, then you have an overall view. Um, I felt it was a little bit dull, so I wanted to add a bit more bling. Yeah, right, more bling. So I added dots. You can add swirls, lines, flowers. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you like. Um, and have a look of what you want to be more um, detailed. So since this makeup is all about contrast, I realized that my eyes were missing a little bit contrast. So what's the opposite of the dark? Is the light, right? So I used a little bit of the white pigment over the eyes just to give more punch. So it really makes a contrast between white and black. And after that, same thing on the lips. A little bit of white pigment, just so it shines and give more volume. Now guess what? The lashes. Seriously, this really makes a difference um, when you're doing a makeup, just to complete the look. Oh yeah, check this out. Ooh, I'm having a little bit trouble here. Use, uh, of course, lash glue. Put it on the tip of the brush, like not the bristles, but the opposite of the brush, and brush it along the edge of uh, the lash. So the left one was a little bit better, actually much better. So the trick is hold your lash between your fingers, like in a sandwich, start applying near the inner corner, following your lash line, and then boop, 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 until the outer corner. There you go, you can brush them upward, just make sure they're even. There you go. Ah, much better. So we're pretty much the end of the makeup for now. Um, so you can have an overall view. Just check if you're missing contrast anywhere. I realized that I was definitely missing contrast. So I used um, the same eye black eyeliner and I just went around my white lines just so they really pop. Check if you need brown shadow. Just make sure everything is like super contrasted. Now that the makeup is done, what do you need? Accessories! Ta-da! To complete the look, simply use a wig and craft yourself a crown with stuff you have at home. Be creative! Hope you love this video! Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have requests for other looks you'd love to see. For more Cirque du Soleil makeup videos, click right here or check out our description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all the newest videos. Also, if you recreate any of our videos, use the hashtag CirqueMakeup. We'd love to see yours. See you soon!